All right, so I'm sure since the Nintendo Wii came out in 2006, you've all probably had a chance to play it at least once. But have you ever stopped and asked yourself, how exactly does it work? The Wiimote uses a combination of accelerometers, infrared light, and MEMS technology. Or maybe it's MEMS technology. We'll start with accelerometers. The accelerometer makes the climb indicator work, which tells you the pitch of the airplane above or below the horizon. This stands for Microelectromechanical System. Basically, it's the brains of the accelerometer. First, it has a three axis accelerometer. Try saying that three times fast. Bet you can't. An example of how a three-axis accelerometer works in a Wii game is the Skydiver game, where your character is the Wiimote. Whatever angle you move the Wiimote at, your character will do the same thing. If you affect the pitch like that, your character will do the same, as you can see here. And here comes bank. Here we go. That motion. That's bank. Awesome. In front of the Wiimote, there's an IR, or infrared, camera that works with the sensor bar to detect movements. And it's right here. Ooh, right here. Infrared camera. The sensor bar doesn't pick up you moving. It just registers the infrared light. Here's the video to help explain how the Wii works with infrared light in the sensor bar and the infrared camera. Oddly enough, the sensor bar doesn't actually sense anything. Instead, it has two sets of five infrared lights that the Wiimote uses to triangulate its location on the screen. Because of the infrared filter on the front of the Wiimote, all it can see are the ten lights from the sensor bar. When the lights from the sensor bar move to the bottom of its view, it knows that the cursor should be at the top of the screen. When the lights are on the top of the view, the cursor is placed at the bottom of the screen. The same applies to left and right motion. By reversing the angle created by the lights, the remote can display a slanted cursor on the screen.